what's up lines and welcome to another blue and gold friday today is friday may 13th and it has been a long time since we have seen you state testing is complete and ap testing is winding down last week we celebrated teacher appreciation week we have the lines choice awards this week and we have academic awards promenade and prom next week with all that being said we have a jam-packed episode and a lot to get to so let's get to your lines news Attention any JHS students interested in joining the Lions Marching Band and Color Guard this summer. We invite you all to scan the QR code on the screen or on the many flyers throughout GHS or follow the GHS Lions Marching Band on Instagram to get all the information you will need to know about the meetings, band camp, rehearsal, schedule, and next year's show titled The Lion is King based on Disney's The Lion King. No experience is necessary, so if you have ever wanted to get musically involved in a super fun, unforgettable experience, then check out the GHS Marching Band today. Free sports physicals will be conducted at GHS on May 25th. In order to receive an appointment time, students must turn in a completed and signed physical packet. Packets can be picked up in the nurse's office or the athletic director's office. Packets must be turned in to the school nurse by Monday, May 16th. See Nurse Stewart if you have any questions or need more information. All of us here at the LPNN and everyone at Lions Nation want to give a huge shout out to our own school nurse, Linda Stewart. This past Wednesday was National School Nurses Day across the country. And here at GHS, we know we are the luckiest kids in the world to have someone as loving, caring, and supportive as our nurse. Mrs. Stewart, we all hope you had a wonderful day on Wednesday and thank you for all that you do each and every single day here at GHS for the students, the staff, and the families in Lions Nation. The GHS Hiking Club will hold a planning meeting for the upcoming hiking season this Wednesday, May 18th, right after school in room A17. This great new club is open to all GHS students and no experience is needed. So if you love the outdoors and would like to experience some unique hiking adventures with your fellow lines, be sure to check it out. Stop and see Hiking Club Advisor, Mr. Whitecar, if you have any questions. What's up, Lions? b Shep and I are here to give you some more Lions birthday shout outs. This week we had Sarah Harding, Russ Medlar, Kassan Turner, Trevor Youngie Young, Brianne Brockington, Daquan Reddick, Hamza Bashir, and Darielli Rosario Burgos. Yeah. Today we got both Ian and Matt Angelo. Yeah. And tomorrow we got Alexander Hernandez. Happy birthday, Lions. We hope it's the best day of your life so far. All right, till next week, go Lions. Yeah. Any Lions interested in getting involved with the GHS cheerleading team next year should stop by the interest meeting on Tuesday, May 24th. Tryouts will take place Tuesday, May 31st through June 3rd, right after school in the new gym, and all the info you will need to try out will be discussed at the meeting. See Coach Fenton if you need further information or have any questions. As you know, Lions, we are just one week away from the GHS Promenade and the Junior Senior Prom. One quick reminder to everyone in Lions Nation, the GHS Promenade will take place in the auditorium at 5.30 and everyone is invited to come see and celebrate all of our juniors and seniors who will all be dressed to impress. Promenade kicks off at 5.30 and the prom will start at 7 p.m. One quick reminder to anyone going to this year's prom, seating charts are due by the end of the day today. See Mrs. Bennett in room D7A if you have any questions. Yo, yo, doggies! Con Gumper here, you the gum man with your weekend weather report. Well, doggies, we have reached the halfway point in May, and this weekend it's finally gonna feel like it. Even though there is a chance of two of showers, temps will finally reach the upper 70s for the first time in 2022. So listen, Lions, if you wanna get some water ice, go for it. If you wanna go for a bike ride, go for it. If you wanna ride around with your windows down, go for it. If you want to play jailbreak with your friends, make it happen, because the school year is running out, Lions. We only got five weekends left, so make it count. All right, that's the weather. I am the gun man, and you have been served. Peace. The GHS Lions Indoor Percussion and Color Guard finished their super successful season recently with their annual Friends and Family Show right here at GHS. Both Percussion and Guard competed at Haddon Heights and Pensacon, with the Percussion finishing in second for both shows, and the Guard earning seventh in the Haddon Heights show with a score of 56.3. Both groups go on to compete in Region 1 Championships at Eastern, with Percussion bringing home the Bronze and earning the State Spirit Award. 
and Guard put out their best show yet and placed ninth. And if you missed any of these shows, you are in luck. You will have one final chance to check out the indoor percussion line as they will be one of the groups performing in this year's spring concert on Thursday, May 26th. Mark your calendars and be there. Hey Lions, Evan B here with another Lions sports update. The GHS boys track and field team finished the dual meet season with a record of 3-1-1 one one, with their only loss to SJ number 8 Haddon Heights and the Lady Lions finished their successful season as well. So far this season, the boys have broken three school records. Steven Burkhart has broken the 100 meter school record with a time of 10.7 seconds and the 400 meter school record with a time of 50.4 seconds. The 4x400 relay team of Jaden Garris, Tyler Hunter, Caden Harris, and Steven Burkhart broke the school record by over five seconds, finishing in 336.4. All of our track stars are looking forward to breaking more records during championship season, which begins this weekend with the Camden County Championships at Haddon Township. So best of luck to the entire track team in the weeks to come. The varsity boys baseball team has had some major accomplishments over the past few weeks. The team is currently 5-1 in the division, heading into the last two weeks of divisional play. Chris Rouge Ruggieri is leading the team with a 4-0 record on the mound. Caleb the Chickadee Chicken Wright, Gavin Wiener, Steven Gersick, and Seth McCormick have done a great job on the mound as well. The team has had big victories over Haddon Township, Haddon Field, Gateway, Hensgrove, and Sterling. They were led by Jamison Gorman, Cody Garslick, Michael Morell, Mason Jankowski, Sean Foley, John John Daly, Jake Seibert, and Aiden Daly contributing at the plate and in the field. As we speak, the entire team and coaches are literally on their way to Cooperstown. And finally, we want to send a huge congratulations to the Lady Lions softball team on winning the Colonial Conference Patriot Division for the second year in a row. Over their last 10 games, they have a record of 9-1, with all of the victories being the total team efforts. On the mound, Olivia Cheeky George, Chloe Ty, and Ainsley Pratt have been lights out, giving up less than five hits and three runs per game. And the bats have come alive for the Lady Lions. During that 10-game stretch, they've outscored their opponents 78-12. The offense has been led by the Blonde Bombers, Alexa Lee and Hannah Burjeski, who have combined for five home runs and 26 runs scored. Senior Danica Bennett has been on a tear at the plate, batting 692 during this time. Belle Hatterer, Riley Hunter, Ava Rogers, Riley Zierfoss, Kaylin Zierfoss, Coral Davidson, and Lauren Parry have all chipped in with multiple hits. The defense has been excellent, both in the infield and outfield, making almost every play that came their way. Please come out and support the Lady Lions in their final regular season games and in the playoffs, which start next week. This Saturday night, the Lady Lions will host PBI at 7 p.m. at the Ponytail Field, and then come out for the senior game on Monday at 4 p.m., where the Lady Lions will take on Lindenwald. All right, Lions, that's it for your sports update. Go Lions! Well, Lions, that's it for this episode. Best of luck to all the Lions sports this weekend. Get outside, stay active, and stay positive, and as always, go Lions.